director of critically acclaimed films such as Mukundo, Mask of Desire, Uma, an award-winning documentary, The Spirit Doesn't Come Anymore. Producer in the much-anticipated feature film Kalapothi, Chiringrita Sherpa's 19 years in the Nepali film industry has been anything but linear. Basking in the popularity of the TV series Singadarbar, where his direction was much appreciated, Sherpa believes life is too short for bad cinema, so his mantra, watch one good film every single day, which he does. Like any other uh, growing up kid was interested in movies, you know, movies used to be the main source of entertainment, right? Until I was in college, I didn't realize that I could uh, be uh, in film or a filmmaker. The main kind of seed of interest uh, uh, came when I was in uh, uh, doing my bachelor. And um, then actually I realized that cinema could be taken as a serious art. Because they were comparing cinema to, uh, you know, dramas of Shakespeare and all these uh, writers. So uh, I started looking at uh, cinema with a different perspective. And, um, you know, around that time there was a um, festival of Martin Scorsese films. And, um, you know, of course, uh, his other films like Taxi Driver and all these were shown, which I saw. But the biggest impact I got, uh, you know, was from, a, you know, uh, the film called uh, Raging Bull. It's like such a um, experience to watch that um, film. And, uh, you know, by the time the film was over and I was uh, out of the theater, I wanted to be a filmmaker. life as in movies or in whatever you choose to do you won't go far unless you build your network the movie business is so about people and your relationship with them the old adage is true in some cases it's not what you know but who you know for a young filmmaker with no connection it was quite a challenge for Sherpa to break into this closely guarded industry two years of no work unrealized ideas and two years of patience finally paid off with technology coming to the rescue Sony came out with this uh, uh, interesting camera. It was uh, very small and compact, but you know, was giving a very good quality. Uh, the DV cam format. Because before that, I was trying to make a film of my own because I was not getting any job. Um, it was very expensive to make it uh, in a very professional quality because the cameras were big and you had to hire a big group of people. So around that time, uh, Sony came out with this uh, DV cam format, which was very good. I mean, it in a way revolutionized uh, filmmaking also. Uh, democratized filmmaking, I would say, uh, in which uh, they made the camera very compact, but the quality was very good. And a lot of uh, television uh, stations started accepting the DV quality. So when that camera came, it kind of, in a way, opened a path for me. With the advent of the digital era, filmmaking has become a highly accessible process to everyone. This may also just be the tip of the iceberg, as the technological revolution takes hold which even some of the smartest minds are still trying to come to terms with. Especially in how to use it for your advantage, not just for making money, but getting your ideas out. It was this technological revolution that helped Sherpa bring his vision on screen. And the very first project he did, The Spirit Doesn't Come Anymore, went on to win the Best Film Award at Film South Asia in 1997. Uh, documentary background gives me a lot of interest in portraying something uh, in a very realistic way. A lot of actually pre-production research is uh, needed in uh, documentary filmmaking. So that habit I've you know carried over to uh, while I'm making feature films, and that helped because uh, you know in feature films the more you are prepared the better uh, outcome it uh, has, and also um, you know the shooting becomes more fun if you are more prepared. A trained documentary filmmaker, Sherpa derives immense joy from making feature films. Adding more to his experience, he also directed the socio-political drama Singadarbar in 2015. The television series aspires to promote positive role models in governance and a culture of collaboration between the government and the general public. I didn't expect uh, this much of a, a response um, uh, for Singadarba. We knew that it would be a landmark in Nepali uh, television scenario um, because the, the cast, the, uh, the story, the research that it went into, the production value, the budget, everything has uh, been unprecedented in uh, Nepali t television scenario. But uh, never did I expect that it, you know, such an overwhelming response would uh, come from uh, the audience. There is a tendency when you're doing your own work, the work starts to take over your life. 
You don't read as much, you don't watch as much, and you stop observing the things that make you, you. So the rule of thumb for any creative individual, don't stop being a fan of your own work. So Kalupati uh, actually is Min's uh, idea. Uh, th- uh, you know, it's his own story, his own experience. Uh, so he was writing the script and then he uh, came to me and uh, asked me if I would be able to help him as a producer. Uh, I looked at the story, I really liked it. It's very, very simple and very personal story. Something that, uh, you know, very rarely is done in Nepali cinema. So um, I thought that, you know, my role as a producer in this film would be basically to help him, you know, realize this film because I've been through a uh, you know, very difficult time being the director and producer myself because having to wear both the hats will uh, kind of draw you out from this you know, very creative uh, expression that you would want and so I thought uh, you know, me being a producer to help Min make his uh, you know, film would help him lighten uh, you know, at least one part of the burden. To be a producer, you've got to be a fairly sophisticated jack of a lot of traits and probably master of a few. All movies are made by a group of personalities, usually some pretty big ones. They're made by many people with many different skill sets and opinions. A good movie always comes about when you manage to get those people working together in a smooth manner towards a singular goal. Sherpa, who has been the director in many projects, feels the role of a producer is not to be undermined. Um, as a director, I think your main focus is in the creative expression. Uh, as a producer, uh, you are managing the whole process of making a film and his involvement in the production is not only to bring money but also help the director realize his uh, vision. And uh, in Nepal also it's uh, changing a little bit now and I think in the uh, coming days it will change more in which You know, many directors are turning into producers solely because of the director's own experience of having gone through a very difficult time in being a producer as well as a director. Because that kind of compromises your creative uh, expression. Sometimes, limitations can be a virtue, but given the choice, Sherpa says it would be good to have state's assistance and availability of proper production facilities. You have made a film with a very limited budget and then you are pitched against the biggest of the Hollywood blockbusters in the same theater and the ticket prices are same. Uh, and then it kind of becomes a very unfair competition. So I think it's very important to uh, for the government to kind of look at the cinema, uh, Nepali cinema, and see where it can support in terms of uh, assuring uh, screen space, in terms of, uh, you know, providing fund, uh, in terms of uh, building, uh, you know, academies or film schools, and uh, in terms of giving incentives uh, to film artists or film productions. So right now, all these are non-existent and um, Nepali films are basically, uh, you know, fighting a very, very difficult task, uh, war against, uh, you, know, uh, you know, films from the biggest industries where they have a huge production uh, budget and uh, biggest of the stars and then you have to compete with them in the same theater. With movies, one is often adapting or building on the shoulders of those before them. Inspiration is not a bad word per se in Sherpa's lexicon, but there's a fine line between getting inspired and blindly copying somebody else's idea. From spiritual-themed karma and mukundo to weaving political issues into mainstream narrative to films like Uma and TV series Singer Darbar. Director Chiring Rita Sherpa seems to have cracked the entertaining narrative that also makes you think about issues. You might uh, go through lean period or tough times, uh, but uh, eventually if you, you know, remain focused and just, you know, go and get your goal, uh, you'll eventually be successful. Uh, The only problem is that it's very difficult. It's easy to say, but then, you know, when there are these distractions or a lot of problems that you face, you always 
you often kind of like uh, get uh, uh, distracted so uh, for me because that's what happened I would strongly suggest that you know don't let uh, these distractions take you away from your own goal just go straight okay good back up for the day did you know that chitting Rithar Sharpa watches one movie a day? What could be the reason? Because he's passionate, he loves his work, he's trying to grab ideas, the best ones, from everywhere and squeeze in in one package. We can learn a lot from him. Know more about Sharpa from our m and magazine. You can get the magazine from your nearest newsstands or subscribe to us.